All right, guys, <clears throat> this video is about witchcraft. And no, I'm not getting into witchcraft all like my past ministry. I'm only bringing this up because I'm noticing what brought this to my attention was that Christians are using the word magic and saying good luck and things of that sort, divine beings, like things of that sort is witchcraft. You know, name it and claim it. That's all prophetic false prophets coming from Satan in the Lord's name. You don't want to do that as a child of God. You don't want to say, oh, the vacation we had, it just felt like magic. You don't want to do that because you have to realize the minute you're born again, you're at war with magic. You're against magic. You don't want to be promoting magic. You don't want to be letting people know that magic is a good thing as a Christian. So we're to rebuke magic because it comes from the very pit of hell. So I'm going to go into scripture, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Our enemy. <laughs> For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right there, very clear, clear as day to you, child of God, born again, Christian. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, we don't wrestle against mankind. We wrestle against the spiritual wickedness behind mankind, guiding mankind through their thoughts, guiding mankind through being demon-possessed. That is what we wrestle against, which is witchcraft. But against principalities of witchcraft, against powers of witchcraft, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, witches and warlocks, which is male witch, against spiritual wickedness in high places, Witchcraft. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Then we flip the page, and we go to verse 14, telling you how to stand against the wiles of the devil, and put on the full armor of God, the whole armor of God. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching whereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Does this mean you have to go to a Halloween store, which is witches, and find the whole armor of God there and say, hey, I'm looking for the whole armor of God. Where is it? Where can I find it? What aisle is it in? No. What is of God is spiritual. This is a spiritual battle, not a physical war. It's a spiritual war in your head, in your heart, in your walk with Christ. Okay? It's against your flesh. It's against sin, which is what witches try to bring us into because it separates us from God. It keeps us from being the light of Jesus Christ in this world of darkness. It keeps us from growing in knowledge of God's word, having a strong relationship with God, letting him use us through obedience and so on and so forth, bringing blessings and miracles into this world that glorify his name. <clears throat> so it says, it tells you what the item is and spiritually what it's for. So let's start with having your loins girt about with truth. So loins, truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, the breastplate, the breastplate is righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Feet, gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Shield is faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation. Helmet is salvation. And sword of the spirit 
which is the Word of God. The Word of God is the sword of the Spirit. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Then there's other scriptures about not allowing your children to pass through the fire, which is witchcraft, and that witches should be killed. So if you're a witch, you will be killed according to God's word. I forget the scripture, um, the verse, and exactly what it says. Uh, not suffer a witch to live, something like that. So witchcraft is not of God. There's no good witchcraft. There's no, uh, there's no healing witchcraft. There's no protection witchcraft. What they tell you is the opposite. They tell it to you, it's healing, but really it's attacking you. See, they want the opposite. If you think you're being protected, then you're going to accept their witchcraft. And then because you accepted their witchcraft, which is not of God, you gave legal right to it in your life. However, you accepted it through a potion, an oil, uh, a graven statue, graven image, a, a, a necklace, whatever it may be, a gemstone. And you accept this as healing, as protection, as love, a love potion. I'm going to get this person to love me because of my love potion. That's witchcraft that we rebuke in the name of Jesus that you need to come away from if you're truly serving the Lord. You can't serve two masters. So you have to understand this stuff is used as a way for you to trust it and accept it. If they say this is to harm you, you're not going to be like, get me two of those. I want two of those right now. I want to put them in my house and I want harm to come all over me. But if they say it's going to protect you, your protection comes from the Lord, first of all. It doesn't come from mankind. It doesn't come from objects. It doesn't come from any kind of powers and witchcraft and potions and lotions and oils and all that garbage, gems. It doesn't come from that. It comes from trusting in the Lord for your protection, being your provider and your protector, as his word says. That's it. That's spiritually through your faith, through hope and trusting in the Lord, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So... Um, good luck. Luck is witchcraft. Okay. You talk about lucky charms, you know, the, the, um, uh, can't think of what his name is. Yes. The leprechaun at the end of the rainbow with the pot of gold blasphemy. What is the rainbow for that? God will not destroy mankind again. That's his promise to mankind that once it rains, the rainbow will come to let you know he's keeping his promise. They want to blasphemy God and make it about a pot of gold with a leprechaun. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. These are the things in the world that we see as so normal and okay and we're conditioned and normalized into thinking this is how it's supposed to be. But remember the scripture. Scripture rainbow belongs to God. doesn't belong to the gay community as their pride, which is another way that the enemy uses what is of God. He says, oh, this is your rainbow of pride. So go and be prideful with your rainbow. Pride is not of God. He resists the proud and gives grace unto the humble. Repent and ask God for forgiveness of your pride. Stop allowing the enemy to use you. You don't say good luck. Okay. Blessing is from God, not luck. Oh, you know, you're lucky. No, you're blessed. That means God has blessed you. Luck is witchcraft. Okay. There's is good luck. There's magic oh this is just magic how it works you'll see that all over the world it's a condition you you see it more often you allow your brain to be like okay it's okay we see it it's normal that's how life is no this world is satan's world lowercase g god of this world his witches rule this world that's why we're at war with them the minute we accept jesus because now we're aware of their world of their witchcraft of sin and we have knowledge of it through truth of the holy spirit who convicts us teaches us protects us helps us provides for us so on and so forth as scriptures say. So stop saying good luck to people. Try to say, you know, I hope the best for you instead of wish you well, because wishes also can be used as witchcraft. You make a wish when you blow out the candles, you know, for your birthday. No, my wife and I, were still going to celebrate Gabriel's birthday, which is our son who hasn't born, been born yet, but will be born this month. And we're not going to have candles. We're just going to have a nice little party, no candles, no making wishes, no wishing at 11-11, that's witchcraft, angel numbers, witchcraft, all that is witchcraft, claim it and own it, prophetic uh, prosperity gospel, witchcraft, 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 we rebuke in the name of Jesus. You're a child of God, you need to know to come away from this and not allow it, and to not promote it to other people, okay? You don't need to focus on witchcraft, I'm not saying go look into stuff of witchcraft now, focus on Jesus. 
but don't be using things that have to do with witches and discard of anything that says magic on it. God bless.